Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and today we're watching Deadpool. Before we hop on into the movie, let's have a word from today's sponsor, Bright Cellars. Bright Cellars is a subscription box that matches you with wines you'll love and ships them directly to your door. They make trying new bottles easy and convenient, and with their taste preference quiz, they know exactly which wines I'm guaranteed to like, and no box is ever the same. I also love that Bright Cellars offer sustainable varietals and that their packaging comes plastic free. Here are some of the wines that I received. I tend to like drier, fuller bodied wines, so the first wine that Bright Cellars sent me was this Cabernet Sauvignon by Nihilist Wine Co. It has delicious notes of black raspberry and plum, and I'm saving this one for the day when I'm gonna make steak at home because that's what it says it pairs well with on the card. They also sent me this fun looking Chardonnay by Cactus Park. It has bright notes of yellow apple, pineapple, and mango. It tasted super bright and fresh and a little citrusy and sour. And my favorite wine that they happened to send me was this Malbec by Stone Lantern. I'm already really excited about this even though I haven't tried it yet because Malbec is my favorite wine hands down. I love Malbecs. And I thought we could try it here on camera today. So I have a glass. <laughs> I mean, that's great. That's amazing. I definitely taste berries. I'm no professional, so maybe we should just read the card. <laughs> oh, it says blueberries and black cherries and plum. I definitely believe all that. It also says vanilla, which I don't know if I would have ever been able to pull that out on my own. That's why I love these cards, because they really like make you feel like you're a wine expert. I just love Malbec, man. I love that it's dry in the back of my throat, sweet on the tip of my tongue. It's just a clear, full-bodied, hearty wine experience. I love Malbec so much. So I was really stoked when they sent me that. Currently, Bright Cellars is offering 60% off of your first four-bottle box. That's four bottles of wine for just $38, a seriously amazing value. Just make sure to use the link in my description to get your first box today. Thanks again to Bright Cellars for sponsoring this video, and thank you guys, as always, for listening to the sponsor. Sponsors definitely help keep the channel going, and I really appreciate it. Now let's get back on into the video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today, we're diving on into Deadpool. I am so ready. I feel like I've been waiting for this movie for so long. You know, in Nightmare season, I had to pause the X-Men series a little bit, and that push this movie further back. And then in December, I wanted to do some holiday movies. So I am so happy to finally be here and being able to kick off this new year with Deadpool. I am really in the mood for a feel good comedy today. To be perfectly honest, I'm actually in a lot of pain right now. I did have a back spasm this weekend. I don't actually know if it's a spasm or what it is, but um, my neck really hurts. Yeah, I've struggled with neck and back issues on and off for years. Um, I did a lot of gymnastics in my youth and um, had some other things that contributed. A lot of really gnarly car accidents, too. Just some other things that contributed to this. So it's been something I've struggled on and off with my whole life. It's nothing new, but this is the first time I've had any issues in probably a year. So I guess I'm overdue because it's lasted three days. I'm literally on day three of my neck being in immense pain. So if you see me stretching or moving or fidgeting a lot throughout this video, that's why I'm just in a lot of pain right now. But this movie should lift my spirits. I am excited. I'm definitely in the mood for a comedy right now. <laughs> and with all that being said, I do want to get on into this movie here pretty soon. I don't want to ramble on too much more, but I will say that if you guys like hearing random little tidbits about my life, <laughs> or how old my body is. <laughs> I have been posting some vlogs over on my second channel, Just Nat. I always link that channel in the description bar down below, but I post random kinds of content over there, different fun videos, and I've been vlogging lately, so that's been fun. And if you wanna see a different side to me and just see content from me that's a little different from what I do over here, definitely make sure to go check out that channel. But with all that being said, guys, I think we should just hop on into this movie. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink grab a snack, and let's get into Deadpool. <laughs> Starring God's Perfect Idiot. Is that what Ryan wanted to be titled as in the title cards? <laughs> a hot chick. 
A British villain. Wow. I love this. Already is so silly. I wonder if when people saw this in theaters, were they like, oh, hell yeah, this is going to be different. Or I guess they'd think that when they see produced by asshats. Oh, that's funny. Written by the real heroes here. Yes, you tell them. <laughs> well, I guess if you saw the trailer, you'd probably think, oh, hell yeah, this is going to be different than the rest of the X-Men movies. Does he wear this everywhere he goes? I'm kind of lonesome back here. Yeah. Well... Oh my god, I would not like that if I was this cab driver. Pool. Dead. Pool dead? I wonder why they call him Deadpool. That's kind of a weird name. Yes, Gita. Mm. She is quite lovely. The taxi driver is like not even phased that this guy climbed up here. Uh, why the fancy red suit, Mr. Pool? Yeah, me, my question too. Oh, that's because it's Christmas Day, Dopender. What? <laughs> Probably not really Christmas. Wait, so is he going after like Wolverine or Stryker? I'm confused. Wolverine's not in this movie, is he? It's so hard to follow what's going on in the X-Men movies sometimes. I, I never carry water while I'm working. Ruins the lines of my suit. Oh. But uh, how about a uh, crisp high five? What? Merry Christmas. Is it actually Christmas in this movie? Tuesday in April to you. <laughs> no, it's not. It's his Christmas. I know, right? Whose balls did I have to- Oh, he's talking to us. He's breaking the fourth wall? I can't tell you, but it does rhyme with Pulverine. Ah, he breaks the fourth wall. Is he gonna do that the whole movie? Is he gonna narrate? He timed it so well. Oh, rough day for that guy. Oh, bye bye. I've seen this man. <laughs> ah, oh, the cigarette. I've never said this, but don't swallow. Ah, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, you know, this is already soy violent. Oh, here we are. We're catching back up to where we were. Yep, this is where we were in the uh, intro. Did I leave the stove on? What? Oh, ah, 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 gross. Ew. Why is this so much grosser than any of the other X-Men movies? This is already so violent. It's Dr. X's, or Professor X. I always want to call him Dr. X. Oh, this guy, hi. I've given Deadpool every chance to join us. Wait, this isn't the same guy that like has helped Kitty in every movie with the X-Men, right? It looks like he has the same powers, but it's a different actor with a different accent. Is that just an inconsistency or is this a different character? Breakfast is most important meal of day here. Protein bar. I'm eating a protein bar right now and that's my breakfast too. What the f I only have 12 bullets. So you're gonna have to share. You're gonna have to share. Oh, is he gonna curve the bullets? Did he get shot? That's, ah, oh, ew! Wait, he's healing. He still has Wolverine's powers. Someone's not counting. Six. Ew, I don't like seeing the gut, but I love the way he was laying there all relaxed. He's so fast. Oh, I, you know, uh, I'm just not a, a fan of all the guts and the brains. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm touching myself tonight. Okay, thanks for sharing. You're probably thinking, my boyfriend said this was a superhero movie, but that guy in the red suit just turned that other guy into a f kebab. Uh-huh. But some of the best love stories start with a murder. And that's exactly what this is, a love story. Oh. Look, would it help if I slow it down for you? Two years ago. Man, his outfit is so like early 2000s. Sweet. In the Sherpa jacket. The f you doing in my crib? Is that burnt crust? Uh, God, I hope not. Uh, wait, yeah, please don't shoot the pizza guy. I'm here for you. Oh, shit. he what? Psych, plot twist. Not out of the woods yet. Oh, you okay. Need to seriously, ease up on the bedazzling. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. That's amazing. And can I have my Sam's club? I will shoot your. Can I have my Sam's club card? I'm uh, a stalker. Oh, I feel like he's gonna kill him. Yeah. Leave the book in her general direction oh. again, and you will learn in the worst of ways that I have some hard spots too. Oh. That came out wrong. <laughs> or did it? <laughs> and he kisses him. <laughs> wow, he, he's so funny and threatening at the same time. It's great. I was way worse than him when I was his age. I was traveling to exotic places, Baghdad, Mogadishu, Jacksonville. Jacksonville! <laughs> So what was Special Forces doing in Jacksonville? That's anyway. classified. Oh, not, Special Forces wasn't doing anything in Jacksonville. I bet he was just there for his own purposes. You got me. I picked Booth in the Deadpool. Deadpool. Oh my God. No. 
You did not bet on me to die. You bet on me to die. Wow. The yeah. joke's on you. I'm living to 102 and then dying. Like the city of Detroit. <laughs> like the city of Detroit. Are you sure you want to shoot your whole lot? Oh, this is, uh, is this Morena Bakarin? I think it is. I don't, I never know how to pronounce her last name. Rough childhood. Rougher than yours. Daddy left before I was born. Daddy left before I was conceived. D that's not possible. <laughs> you said whatever I want. I get it. You love ski ball. Ski ball! I love ski ball too. Oh, interesting tactic. Okay. Happy Valentine's Day. I thought it was April. Oh, these are all different days. Oh, these are all different days. Year of the time. <laughs> oh, Women's Day. Is she pegging him? <laughs> oh my god. Happy Lent. Happy Lent! They're abstaining! <laughs> this is <gasps> That's hysterical. Oh, that's really cute. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Only because you haven't gotten around to asking me. Will you, um... Stick it Marry me? Uh, where were you hiding that? Nowhere. Business. <laughs> you're, you're supposed to, so that's a- Yes! Woo! Aww. I feel like that's so fast. Have they even been together a year? They've only gone through all the holidays once. I mean, to each their own. Perfect. Okay, so she's either faking it, and this is gonna break his heart, or she's about to die or some shit. Like, something crazy's gotta happen, I think. Life is an endless series of train wrecks with only brief commercial-like breaks of happiness. Right. What's about to happen? It's gonna get f***ed up. Is she drug him? Oh my god, wait! Or was he drugged? What's happening? Oh no, something's wrong with him? People react to news of late stage cancer. It's late stage cancer? He has healing abilities! Oh no, oh this is a really sad turn that I didn't expect it to take. Me? I'm memorizing the details of her face. Oh god, <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna get emotional. Cancer's only in my liver, lungs, prostate, and brain. So this must be before he had the healing abilities. And under no circumstances will I take you to that show. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. This is so much sadder. He's breaking up with her because he doesn't want her to see him die slowly? That's sad, man. Let her stay with you. It's so sad. And uh, that guy over there came in looking for you. Real Grim Reaper type. Is it Stryker? Uh-uh. I understand you've recently been diagnosed with terminal cancer. Stalker alert. Stalker alert? Recruitment. Recruitment. Pure people who are desperate. The worst part about cancer isn't what it does to you but what it does to the people you love. Who knew if this guy could save my life? I wish he would tell her. Ugh, but he's like totally the type that's gonna be closed off. But like, it's just not cool, man. And you are... Negasonic Teenage Warhead. The Moody Teen. What the sh That's the coolest name ever! It really is, actually. Nobody's getting hurt. Except for all of these people. That guy was already up there when I got here. <laughs> That just gonna break your own hand, dude. Oh, yep. Canada. Why did he say that? I don't like seeing his limp hands. I hate this. Stop moving them. Let them heal. Why do you not learn? Stop. It reminds me of like that scene in Monty Python where he's like, he gets his arms cut off and he's like, it's just a flesh wound. Come at me. Come at me. You ever see 127 hours? No, don't cut off your arm. Don't do it. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Ew. Oh, there's the money shot, baby. Ew. That was really good timing again. This is really so... Ha! <laughs> I will admit that this movie is a lot more gruesome than the others. This place seems sanitary. Um, uh, yeah, this is a terrifying place. It's a private institution that turns reclamation projects like yourself into men of... This is horrible. Extraordinary <laughs> abilities. He just wants his cancer healed. I, I think his, like, woman is gonna die or something. I can't imagine that this guy ends up happy, you know? In my case, it enhanced my reflexes. Oh, that's why he's so good on the motorbike. The ending, so I no longer feel pain. Oh, does he no longer feel... Emotional pain? Oh, he doesn't feel any- That's really sad, actually. That would be horrible. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be because you wouldn't feel sad about it, but- One thing that never survives this place is a sense of humor. Oh, his will. There's no way his is going anywhere. It is- It is ingrained in there. How tough can he be? With a name like Francis. Oh, he figured out his name. How did he do that? 
Snag the dry cleaning tag off your lab coat. Ah, that's how he got his name. He's really so crazy brave that he doesn't care that he's poking the bear right now, you know? This guy that's been torturing him constantly, he doesn't care that he's pissing him off. See, here's the problem with round the clock torture is that you can't really step it up from there. You just keep torturing him. Oh, you, oh no. He said bet. He said bet. He said, you don't think I can? Oh, I can make it worse for you. Just say the word, please, you know? If your brainwave's slow, meaning you're about to pass out, then we'll turn up the O2. If your heart rate slows, meaning you're able to catch your breath, we'll turn it back down. So just in a constant state of suffocating pain. That's so great. Wait, 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 wait. Seriously? You actually have something in your teeth now. Eh, man, his sense of humor is re unrelentless. Oh God, he's gonna be in there a whole weekend? Lovely. I'm sure this will work though. His skin is black. Something's happening. Did I say this was a love story? Yeah, you did. It's a horror movie. Oh, that's what happened to his skin. All right, so this, there's no way this is the same Deadpool that like fights Wolverine at some point. This has to be a different thing. I think you guys said that anyway. No, I'm gonna shut you in again, Wade. Oh God. Because I want to. I want this guy to die so badly. He's evil. He says he feels nothing, but like he seems to get joy out of torturing people. Oh, we got a match from her. How's he gonna light it? Oh, the fire is gonna... Isn't there like not enough oxygen in the tank to do anything? Oh, he's putting it right by the oxygen. Wow, he's got a good aim. Oh, to cause an explosion. Nice. This is so sad because even if he does get back to Vanessa, like he's gonna look totally different. And I don't know, I just have a fear that he's gonna get back to her and they're gonna kill her just to ruin his life. He's on fire! Oh, it doesn't matter, he's got healing abilities. But it's kind of hard to tell, he looks crazy. Like it's hard to tell if you're healed from a burn when you look like that, you know? You don't wanna kill me. I'm the only one who can fix your ugly mug. Oh, he did say he could fix it the way he looks. Oh, I don't think he ever will though. He's gonna stab him. Ew, ew, oh, gross. Oh, he's bending it. Man, his story is really freaking dark. But there was only one thing that really mattered. Vanessa, oh God, she's gonna die. Something tragic's gonna happen. Oh, he looks so different. Is she gonna believe that it's him? She's not gonna recognize him. Or maybe he's gonna be too insecure to go up to her. Oh God. Oh no. Oh, come on, dude. She loves you for you. I belong in a fucking circus. Wait, Vanessa loves you. Yes, she loves you. It is scary, but she still loves you. You look like an avocado. Had sex with an older, more disgusting avocado. Thanks, dude. Maybe keep going. Wow. Because you look like Freddy Krueger face the topographical map of Utah. <laughs> wow, he's really got these insults lined up. Yep, there it is. There's a the name. Captain. Deadpool. I think it should just be Deadpool. Maybe not Captain Deadpool. Just Deadpool. Deadpool yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reel it back in. Also though, like, Vanessa would love you either way. Oh, he got his white uh, sweatsuit all red. That's when he realizes red is probably his color. Well, wear red. Don't ask. Yes, ma'am, you tell him. <laughs> That's great. This breaks my heart, though. Like, I worry that by the time he gets back to Vanessa, like, she'll be dead. And it's like he's missing out on all this time with her. Just because of looks, like, she's probably still going to love you anyway. You know, she already loves you for you. This guy who drove a Zamboni? Ooh, just the employee right there watching him get killed. Oh, you're going to die! In five minutes! <laughs> what a sadistic way to take somebody out by the Zamboni. Did he grow a hand back yet? No. Is he gonna grow a hand back? It was a bold move to cut his own hand off. Can I share that home with someone you've met. Oh, really? The old blind lady from the laundromat. Oh, really? That's a f fun roommate, I guess. Oh, it's growing back. It just looks like a nub. He's not as fast healing as Wolverine. <sighs> his little, ew, his little hand! About the size of a KFC spork. <sighs> That's so f***ing funny. But your mood's never gonna brighten till you find this woman and tell her how you feel. I agree, ma'am. Do you really think Vanessa's that vain? Think Ryan Reynolds got this far on his superior acting method? He's shading himself. <laughs> oh no. It's gonna come threaten his friend and then probably Vanessa. I've seen this girl. 
Oh no, I knew it, I knew it. We have everything we need now. Oh no, I knew it. Now she's gonna get in trouble. Have you decided what you're gonna say to her? Me. Uh, maybe not start with that. Should have just gone sooner. Oh, is she work here? Give it up for chastity. Hey, Stan. Every time I see her, oh. it's like the first time. Oh I, oh, I feel bad for him. Because she might not recognize him, and that's really heartbreaking. Come on, Wade. Hurry up. Hey, Wade! Uh. <sighs> Wade. Uh. Someone out bad asking for you. Oh, no. They beat, they beat him. No, all because he was too nervous. Oh, yeah, yeah. Perfect little alleyway. Are they just gonna kill her? I'm nervous, they're just gonna kill her. Oh, unless it's, oh, unless he did it out here. Oh, okay, good. Okay, I got nervous. Please tell me it's Wade. It's not, it's Francis. Oh no, no, God damn it. God damn it, Wade, you took too long. My old boyfriend, he's dead. See, I thought that too, but he keeps on coming back. Let's see how he fights with your head on the block. She thought he was dead the whole time, right? Cause he never went back to her. Ripley from Alien 3. F your old. Ah, I really want to know what her powers are with a badass name that she has. He's got my girl. You're going to help me get her back. Yes. Yeah, it's me, Deadpool, and I got an offer that you can't refuse. It's another reference, girl. You you really need to watch some movies. That's coming from me. So, any luck winning Gita back? I tried to hold on tight, Mr. Poole, but Pandhu is more craftier and handsomer than me. Well, I think you're pretty darn cute. Hey! Is there a guy underneath the vehicle? Oh, in the trunk? Bandu? He's tied up in the trunk. I'm, I'm doing, as you said, DP. I plan to gut him like a tandoori. Oh god, that's a bit extreme. That's a bit much. Absolutely not. You got lost in translation. Don't <laughs> Colossal looks so disappointed. Get his heart back. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. We kill him and then win Gita back. Wow. He is psychotic. <laughs> I presume a crisp high five. For you, 10. Oh, great. No money this time either. You know what to do. Ah! <laughs> Knock him dead, pool boy. Knock him dead, pool boy. Time to make the chimmy chongas. I love that, like, his suit is so expressive. Like, it moves with his face, you know? Like, the eyes. That's why I brought him. I prefer not to hit a Kind of now in hindsight, she kind of looks like Gina Carano. That's not her, is it? Wow, that's crazy that Colossal can't handle her. Oh my god. We'll get her tiger. Oh, that's what that means. She's like the Sonic the Hedgehog. That's pretty cool. Wow, minimal effort from her. That's great. She's so efficient. Oh. Bob. Bob. Wait. Oh my god, I haven't seen you since- Oh, were they in the special forces together? Jacksonville! He's not gonna kill him. Don't kill him. Uh-oh, uh -oh. just knocking him out. Smart. And Gail, she's still fixing that tuna casserole? So good. Oh, but bad for the waistline, if you know <laughs> They're friends, so he's like, I'll just knock you out. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, her boobs are out. You are beautiful. That is so sweet. Ah! That is so sweet. Ah! Oh, that's not very ladylike of her. She Nut punched him. Oh god. That's horrible. Oh no, what is that? Contr oh, he's gonna do the same thing to her that he did to Deadpool. Jesus, this guy is really sadistic. Oh no, oh no, is it gonna kill her? Poor Vanessa, man. Oh. Oh good, 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 good. Oh thank god. He only has one sword now, but that was a good call. Ooh. Oh no, he doesn't have any of them. Oh, he broke it. That's unfortunate. Yes, good job. Vanessa really is quite resourceful. Feast. Oh, sounds like your last Saturday night. <laughs> he really is always ready with the jokes. Oh god. Oh god. Ow. Ow. That's a that's a knife. You're cheating. I thought we said fists. Oh. Ah. Ugh. Holy. Shit. What a baddie. What a baddie. Why is he seeing a little cartoon character? Is it because he's got a knife in his brain? Uh. <laughs> There's a lot of cartoon characters going on here right now. Oh my God, what? Oh no. <gasps> oh God. Come on, dude. Yes, good job, girl. Oh wow, that she's really powerful. She can be, in a, be a bomb. That is insane. Oh God. He's got to kill this guy, asshole, and save Vanessa. Ah! Ah! 
Girl! Oh! Okay, well that's great. Oh, what's the plan? Getting her in there? To protect her? Oh, he strapped it to that. Oh, it's actually smart. I'm totally on top of this! I mean, I guess, all things considered, it's the only option. Oh, look at him, he's carrying both of them out of there. Even the girl that was trying to kill him. He's so nice. Maximum effort! Oh, please tell me, she's gotta survive this. Wade's gonna be fine, it just might take him a little while to heal. <gasps> there she is. That was the right call, putting her in there. Good job. Wade! Oh my god, that was so awesome! Oh, Christ! That was so funny! That was such good timing. God, he really does not quit, this Francis guy. Come on, just kill him already! He's horrible! Although maybe that's the whole point, it's like, oh, we're not gonna kill him, I don't know. Maybe Colossal won't let it happen, I'm not sure. Did you really think there was a cure for that? Wow, he just spent a whole year fighting him down and wasted not being with Vanessa. That's horrible. That's so f***ed up. I mean, I kind of figured that was coming. I didn't think he'd get his face fixed. What's my name? Who f***ing cares? Wait! Oh, yep. I knew he was gonna intervene. He's trying to have him make the right decision and not kill this guy. Even though this guy kind of deserves to die, he's done some horrible stuff to other people. In these moments, everything else Falls away. I bet he's gonna kill him anyway. I feel like that's gonna be the funny choice. The way we. Yep. <laughs> wow, Colossal, you really are have a sensitive stomach. I can't even tell you. <laughs> yeah, he deserves that. No, 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 no. Maybe, maybe not the Nether. Start talking. Yeah, you abandoned her, dude. I live in a crack house with a family of twelve. Oh, it's gonna be a competition again. <laughs> There's nothing that we don't share. Floor space, dental floss, even condoms. <laughs> so you live in a house. <laughs> oh, oh, she's yes anding him. Oh, she accepted the joke. Oh, he's got a wound now too. Wait, what did he put under? He put another mask. <laughs> Is that Wolverine? <laughs> this Hugh Jackman. Oh my God, he fought the whole time with that stapled to his forehead. After a brief adjustment period, and a bunch of drinks. <laughs> it's a face. I'd be happy to sit on. <laughs> it's like you should have just gone to her sooner, my dude. You thought she was so shallow. You're cool. Oh, <gasps> a teen called you cool? <laughs> Nothing feels cooler than having a teenager call you cool. <laughs> oh, see, you could have avoided all this drama, but then we wouldn't have had a movie, so. Who's calling him? Oh, no, no one's calling him. He just played it. Oh, I am pretty shocked that we had a happy ending. That was so fun. You're still here. Uh-huh. It's gonna tell us to f off. Oh, you're expecting a teaser for Deadpool 2. Well, we don't have that kind of money. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, but I can tell you one thing, and it's a bit of a secret. For the sequel, we're gonna have cable. Cable? Anyway, big secret. Shh. Oh, and don't leave your garbage all lying around. Oh, because people watching this in the theater. Yeah. I mean, this is my house. I can do what I want, Ryan. Chica -chica. <laughs> Chica -chica. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's f funny. I'm so happy I've finally seen this now. This was one of those movies that, you know, when it came out, you saw so many like teaser trailers for it. I remember seeing like, Deadpool playing Bob Ross, like Ryan Reynolds doing a Bob Ross thing and wearing like a Bob Ross afro. It was so funny. I get some of the humor now and I understand like where he fits into this world. I liked how different the style was for this movie. It was really out there and really wacky and fun. I know there's a sequel, so I'm excited to get to that relatively soon and movies like Logan as well, but we're definitely, uh, getting pretty caught up pretty fast here. This was so funny. Great to see Morena again. I don't think I've seen her in anything since we watched Firefly here on my channel. And that character was a little more sincere and earnest, whereas in this one, she definitely plays a character that's more feisty and sassy. Although I, she's kind of sassy in Firefly too, but this character is just definitely a little more feisty, I think. And it was fun to see her in this movie. Loved all the music, loved all the timing and the editing and the comedy and the pacing of everything. It was just so, clever and witty. I definitely wasn't expecting like a sad cancer storyline in the middle there, but it makes sense. Every hero has to have like a motivating factor for why they go through what they go through. And usually it entails suffering. 
I do think it's interesting. I think you guys had mentioned to me that the Deadpool version in Origins Wolverine is nothing like what this Deadpool is. They're not closely related, but it's just funny because he references Wolverine in the beginning as the reason why he has his own movie. So he's breaking the fourth wall there, but then we're not addressing that as the storyline at all. Like we're just moving on completely. It's like a completely different situation that he went through. Still involves the burning and destruction of a building though and him coming out of ashes in both scenarios. So that's kind of funny. I know some folks said that I could probably jump to this and it wouldn't matter, but some folks said that it was good to watch all the X-Men movies in order before getting to this one. I am glad that I did it because it gave me some perspective on who the X-Men were, who Professor X was, and it gave me some perspective on some other people and how these characters might be connected in future movies. So I'm definitely glad that I watched it in order, although I do see how a movie like this could be enjoyable regardless. So I get why it was so popular. It was just a good time, a great way to kick off this new year. I don't know when I'll be posting this video on YouTube exactly. It's probably not the first YouTube video that I'm posting in 2022, but I know it'll be close to it, so yeah. I thought it would be a fun one to uh, start off 2022 with. I don't have too much to say. It was just a good movie. I really liked it, and I'm excited to see the sequel, <laughs> to be honest. I hope uh, it's just as good. I imagine that it would be. Just Ryan Reynolds is so good in everything I see him in. It makes me want to watch Free Guy, to be honest. I never watched Free Guy. I just want to watch everything with Ryan Reynolds now. <laughs> He's just so funny. But that's all I have for you guys in this video, so I really hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and it lets me know that you guys want to see more content like this. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next, and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.